we are, folks. Second, another day in Myrtle Beach. And wanted to give you some updates, if you will, on some of the latest that has transpired. Um, basically, long story short, it might be a short vacation simply because of the fact that there's an impending hurricane. Yeah. So the plans that we had are kind of like falling by the wayside. So we're going to basically be doing things that are close to home, which, you, you, which you'll be seeing things of. But we're keeping our tabs on the Weather Channel and the local news, and if there's a state of emergency, we're going to have out. So unfortunately, I mean, there's that possibility, and it's more likely probably maybe by a day or two, this trip's going to be cut short. Which means we're going to probably either take it a couple days slow getting home or whatever alternative. So we may have enough food where we can have at home here. We don't have to go out so much. But while I'm here, I'm going to have some fun, damn it. Unfortunately, it's been kind of a bitchy vacation. That's really what this is <laughs> really turned out to be and to my chagrin. So right now I'm by myself. Parents went to do the sales pitch that they do for these timeshare things here, like they do every year. And hopefully that gets that out of the system, and we can have some fun at a show somewhere. Um, boyfriend's out doing, and I'm going to meet up with him later. He's actually out one at a nearby, the nearby shopping area. And, uh, yeah, let's see what kind of pictures and other fun stuff we're going to have. Meantime, we're going to be on hold, we're going to be on standby. Probably looking to maybe... Friday-ish, really, depending on when the storm hits, but nobody knows. I kind of wish it would just kind of nick Florida and just, then just head out, and that we're not affected. Because I don't know how the world will put up with this. It's like, and that's something I'm going to ask about. So I'll definitely give you a report on that for sure. And in the meantime, I'm going to be hanging tight. And I thought you guys would get an interesting... <laughs> Why? Has this become an interesting video now? But in the meantime, I'm enjoying the water fountain. The weather's decent. 17 degrees. And I'm going to work on a few things. Check this out. All these shirts. They're Snoopy. I need to get a Snoopy shirt. How about she -Ra? Oh, God. <laughs> How cool is this? Oh, my God. Look at that. This is, like, the cutest thing ever. There you go, buddy. It looks like we're going to be changing some things now, and it looks like we are going to be heading over to Tennessee, and actually traveling to some places I haven't been to in a very long time, but I have pictures of that I've never done video of, so, oh no, we have video of it, but it's been years. So I think the last time I went to um, Pigeon Forge and all that place has been since, hmm, I think when I was in middle school-ish, high school maybe, I don't know. So, yeah, Myrtle Beach became kind of a bust, and it wasn't for Matthew, right? So, 
that's kind of what's happening right now. So, but overall, I had a good day. By the way, at the beach, did some shopping, took some cool pictures, had some fun, and yeah. So tomorrow we're going to pack up, take what we need, take what we want, and then we're going to be out of here. And they do have evacuation plans, and they want people to evacuate in the area that we're in. Sounds like most of the chaos is supposed to be starting at 3 when schools close and stores close, so probably we'll head late morning, but the sooner we get out of here, the better. Then we'll be stuck in that massive... Exodus, let's put it that way, so, anyway, time to hit the hay, time to go to bed, time, I'm just chilling out right now, but, as you see, that's what's going on, so, anyway, yeah, kind of disappointing, but at least we made it down here, and, yeah, this is gonna, this is, this is turned out to be one hell of an adventure. So stay tuned for another part of the saga coming to you. Angel Raider out.